Yeah, so um, there's been a lot of people, I guess, that are here now, that were here yesterday. Who's n who was not here yesterday? Two, three, four, five, okay. No, I don't. <laughs> Um, so yesterday already I did um, uh, talk about um, uh, the community, about about Symphony community, the BHPB community and how we can uh, sort of try to get together. Now after this talk from Fabien about uh, the technical part of Symphony, I don't believe there are no questions. Um, and even if there are no questions now, I'm sure there will be a lot of questions in the future. So I wanted to shortly introduce to you the ways of asking questions or getting answers to your questions uh, within the Symphony community because even though we're very similar uh, um, as communities, um, it will be nice for, for you, or at least I hope so, to, to be able to find your answers. So um, there's a couple of ways to actually get those answers. Um, Similar to PHPBB, uh, Symphony has an RSC channel, for instance. It's a ha hash Symphony on the, the Freenode network. Um, so if you want to uh, and you want to ask some questions, then you can come in there and uh, just ask your question. Um, you'll find out that the, the Symphony uh, channel is a very friendly channel, also for new people. Um, but make sure to, to be clear in what you're looking for. Um, uh, mention things you've tried before uh, and that didn't work and, and what exactly you expect the Symphony to do for you. Um, so the RSC is one. Of course we have a forum which since uh, not too long is powered by PHPBB uh, which you can visit. Uh, um, there is a link on the website, right, uh, for me? Yeah. yeah. So you can go to the Symphony website and uh, click on forum and you can come to the forum. And in a similar way, there is also a Google group, or there's actually several Google groups. Um, but the most important one probably for most of you will be the Symphony-Users Google group. Uh, and both the forum and the Google group are there for people to ask questions about using Symphony, um, about how to make sure that whatever you want to implement, that you can implement it with Symphony. Um, Again, here and, and with the mailing list in the forum, it's, it's easier to, to be clear in what you want because you can write a long piece of text explaining what you want to do, uh, what you already did, how you try to find your answer. Um, but on the other hand, uh, both on the forum and on the mailing list, you cannot really expect an answer in a couple of minutes. Um, in the RC channel, usually you will be able to get some kind of answer uh, within not too long. Um, it might not be the answer you're looking for, but um, it will at least give you some pointers usually on where you can start looking, uh, which should hopefully help you to get uh, another step further uh, to, to your solution. Um, so another way of, uh, of course, getting support is just by asking on Twitter. Um, there's a couple of people that are actively uh, uh, filtering Twitter for, for Symphony as a, as a hashtag or for Symphony as a word. And uh, that way you can actually, if you can sort of get your question in, in 140 characters, usually you'll get an answer in, uh, um, most, most of the times it will be a link to a part of the documentation, something like that. Um, speaking of the documentation, I think Symfony is probably the, the best documented framework, PHP framework out there right now. Um, if you go to the Symfony website, you can see a lot of documentation there, uh, ranging from like really beginner tutorials uh, to uh, a really a, a huge tutorial which will show you just about every aspect of Symfony, um, uh, but also reference guides which will help you just to find out um, uh, for this specific configuration file uh, uh, what the syntax is for whatever you're trying to achieve at that point. Um, so also, um, of course, um, you can always just, um, if you're at a conference like this or a PHP conference um, and there's someone from the team, 
you can always come to us. Um, it's actually, we, even though we're, we might be geeks, we still like to talk to other geeks. Uh, so uh, don't feel free to just come come to us and ask your question and not be afraid or we, we won't bite really. Um, let's see. I, am I forgetting something, Fabian? I don't think so. The only thing is, if you have a simple question, which probably will have, uh, then prefix your uh, subject with um, brackets, simply two brackets. So I can filter the question on Symfony 2. Yeah, so it, it, there is already a Symfony 2 f a sub forum on the forums, right, or not? On the forum, yes. Yes, but on the mailing, on the mailing list, not. No. Okay, so I'll, I'll repeat it for the recordings. If you're asking questions about Symfony 2 and the Symfony users mailing list, make sure to prefix the, the subject with uh, a bracket, Symfony 2 bracket, so that people will know it's about Symfony 2, uh, which will help a lot. Um, yeah. I guess that's about it. Um, yeah, again, just if you have any questions, just come to us and talk to us. Um, we'll be here for, for the rest of the day. Fabienne, you'll be here tonight as well? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm le leaving. I have a flight going tonight. But um, just talk to us today or tonight during the social. Talk to Fabienne. And uh, let's make sure that um, uh, PHP B4 will rock. Yeah. All right, my question, it might be a little bit more for Nils, but for people who in the community, PHP who are probably not quite as oriented to the code and technical aspects, I'd like to know uh, why was Symphony chosen for PHP before and what are some of really the tangible benefits that, will, that users will see in PHP before thanks to Symphony? Okay. Yeah. So uh, the, the first question is really why, uh, why did we decide to use uh, a framework at all? And the answer to that is really simple, uh, just to avoid duplicating work. Uh, there's no point in writing code that other people have successfully built all over again uh, for how many times, I don't know, if, if, every, if every application reinvents the wheel, it's really does the same thing all over, it just doesn't make any sense. And you, you can focus, uh, I think Fabian and Stefan both mentioned this, you can just focus on building the actual application that you want to build. Um, so I think it's, it's really straightforward why you want to use a framework in the first place. Um, then the second question is like, why Symfony out of all the frameworks that exist? Because there are quite a few, right? Um, and so th 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 there were a few reasons, uh, most of them very technical. Um, we were very certain that we, we want to do something uh, with this rewrite that's really future-proof in a way. Uh, so we were looking for a framework uh, that wasn't based on PHP 4 code, um, that, was, uh, something, that was something new itself, um, that was really built for the future just like we're trying to build something for the future. And if that's one of your points, then there's not a whole lot of frameworks left. Um, there's, there's a few other ones uh, which somewhat go in that direction, I suppose. Uh, so Zen Framework 2 is some, one of these, uh, maybe Lithium. And then there were a few other technical um, ideas that we had for the next version or things that we would like, we wanted to implement. You can find a list of some of these on the wiki. Um, it's mostly about uh, the, the architecture of the framework we were, framework we were looking for. Uh, and one thing I want to mention is, uh, it's more a philosophy thing that um, we, we wanted to stop building stuff that other people have already built. And Symphony is really based on the same concept. So like Fabien mentioned yesterday, Symphony doesn't build the same component just so that there's also a Symphony component for this thing that already was implemented in, for example, Zen Framework. And that is exactly the, the philosophy that led us to a framework in the first place. So I think that exactly that is one of the key points why we chose the symphony. Right. And are there going to be any, uh, like, will users see any direct benefits from that? Or mod authors see direct benefits from that? Or is that mainly just for the developers? So I think for regular users, the, the application itself is still going to be a focus. So uh, I mean, it's, it's something for developers, for mod authors. And definitely, modern authors are going to change, see lots of differences simply because of the way that extending the software is going uh, to, uh, to work. 
Um, it's going, I mean, the, the whole focus is on uh, modularity, extensibility. So uh, mod authors will be able to, or rather we will be, one of the key uh, changes that we're planning to have in PHP 4 is to get rid of all this code modifications uh, to, to finally have mods you can install by like, like plug and play mechanisms that you don't have to uh, make any changes to your code. You, you don't have conflicts between different mods just because they change the same line somewhere. Um, and to get rid of all these things. And for that, Symfony offers the right mechanisms. And mod authors will definitely have a new way of working with PHPBB uh, using Symfony. Um, and the, the second part is that um, and other uh, bundles which are not necessarily directly related to PHPB. So for example, we heard about the block mod, which is really like an entirely different application. Something like that can actually benefit from uh, blocks written for Symfony or with Symfony, and you won't have to go and write uh, a block using PHPBB, but you can rather just integrate it with the uh, block bundles that are, exist for Symfony. Um, so this should really simplify things for mod authors a lot. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. <laughs>